truth. The truth has been lied to truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. What is up, YouTube? Your boy, The Truth, back at it again with another video. And today's video, we're going to talk about dudes wearing short shorts. So I've been noticing this trend for a while, and now they have given it a name. Hoochie Daddy Shorts. Should be an interesting subject. So we're going to talk about Hoochie Daddy Shorts, see what y'all think of them, and I'm going to break down the shorts history. When talking about shorts, we got to bring it back to 1979. A show called The Dukes of Hazard hit the air, and it was known for the General Lee being chased by cops, and also for their cousin, Daisy Duke. The Dukes of Hazard aired from 1979 to 1985, but left an everlasting impression on the world as short shorts are now known as Daisy Dukes. Fast forward to the 1980s, basketball shorts were very short. As you can see, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, looking like Daisy Duke shorts, but the person who was known for the shortest shorts was the Utah Jazz's own John Stockton. But towards the end of the 80s, as you can see, the shorts started to get a little longer. Isaiah Thomas still wearing short shorts, but Michael Jordan bringing in the longer shorts. The shorts started getting even longer, as you can see here on the Michigan Fab Five. They're bringing their shorts almost past their kneecaps. This is something we had never seen before. I do believe Michael Jordan started the trend, and then people kind of hopped on board and took it to the next level. The 2000s ushered in a new era in shorts, or should I say jorts. These were jean shorts that were extremely long. Jim Jones's jorts are down to his ankles. Here you can see an old picture of Khaled in French Montana. Khaled got those jorts super long. And French Montana's aren't jean shorts. They're just regular shorts, so you know what we call those? Shants. They were long shorts, not quite pants, so those were shants. You would see shants regularly in the Hispanic culture. In the early 2000s, a lot of people would buy their dickies and they would come extra long like this, so you didn't even really have to sag them. They were already way below your knees. These types of shorts you could get at the swap meet. You can actually still find these types of shorts to this day at your local swap meet. So hoochie daddy shorts is slang for above the knee shorts for men. Yeah. Videos like these that you're seeing are popping up all over TikTok as people are weighing in on the trend. <laughs> all right. We've seen all kinds of comments. I don't even know where to go. Hoochie daddy shorts. I look. Like Enter the year 2022. And it seems like we've gone back in time to the John Stockton era as men are wearing these hoochie daddy shorts. It is the new trend. A lot of people are hopping on and you can definitely see a lot of the hype beast sneaker type dudes wearing these shorts. You can see the common hype. You can see Scotty from Private Selection being a big part of this culture. He's been wearing these little shorts for a long time. There is even a chart now which says Hoochie Daddy, Hoochie Daddy Conservative, Hoochie Starter Pack, and 11 inch is shorts. Charmelaine the God says 11 inches is fine. I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with Charmelaine because growing up, people around me wore shants, they wore jorts. So shortening up your shorts. You got to do it slowly but steadily. Obviously, wearing some jorts like this, you'd look kind of ridiculous in 2022. But some people might think hoochie daddy shorts look kind of ridiculous also. It's the same thing with pants. If you grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, then you wore super oversized pants. 
And then a few years ago, the skinny jean era came in. Most of the people who wore the huge pants never switched to the skinny jeans, and now the skinny jeans are going out of style, and the baggy pants are back. So how do you guys feel about the short shorts? R.I.P. Trouble, a rapper from Atlanta who just passed away, posted this. He said he didn't care how much you guys hype it up. He was not putting on no damn booty shorts. There has also been some arguments saying wearing these shorts is not masculine. There has also been some lashing out by the gay community saying they started this and cis males are stealing it from them. My opinion, you will not catch me wearing hoochie daddy shorts, but if you do wear them and you feel comfortable wearing them, then hey, do your thing. It's all about feeling comfortable with what you have on. Don't just hop on it because it's a new trend. If you're gonna wear them, you feel comfortable wearing them, cool, personally, I wouldn't feel very comfortable wearing these. And if you do rock them, be careful when sitting down. I was watching a podcast the other day and it looked like someone's balls were about to flop out. Go ahead and leave your comments. I'm curious if you guys are rocking the Hoochie Daddy shorts this summer. As always, it's been your boy The Truth, a.k.a. Paul Pierce, a.k.a. George Washington, because I cannot tell the lie. And I'm out.